What's happening, card crazies? Uh, back here with another mail day. I got something in the mail today from uh, a very cool tuber indeed, Victor Negron. One of those pure, genuine dudes. Uh, you know, the first video you even watch of him, you already instantly realize you're dealing with just a super nice guy. So this is very nice of you, Victor. I greatly appreciate this, man. Uh, he sent us a bunch of stacks of cards. Victor likes to buy lots, and whatever he usually doesn't keep for himself, he just sends out to people who he just knows would like that stuff. He knows that uh, you've got a spot in your collection for it, and he's just one of those generous guys who's like, here you go, you know, it doesn't fit me, but it, I know it fits you, so please take it. So we, what do we have here? So I'm trying to see if we have an... Okay, here's a note right here, actually. Hey, card crazy, that's funny. <laughs> just, just some more browns and Indians for your collection. If there is anything here you don't need, feel free to pass it along to someone else. Very nice of you, buddy. Uh, I have a feeling I'll probably keep a lot of what you sent me, buddy. Um, uh, just so generous for you, Victor, man. This is very nice, man. You're such a class act and nice guy. Uh, greatly appreciate getting anything from, from such a, such a phenomenally good dude right here. So let's, uh, bust into this and see what Victor sent. We got something in a top loader mushroomed in there. So we'll, we'll I think I'll save that for last. But uh, let's get into this penny sleeve stuff. Because I already see a card I, I like a lot here, man. It, it, this is very ironic. Not only did I start the video by saying card crazies, but I decided to throw all my Corey Coleman's out there because the brown season's getting ready to get underway. And Corey's just look great all through camp and preseason. So I thought I'd do a little Corey Coleman thing. but And then he sends me a Corey Coleman. So very cool there. Uh greatly appreciate that any Corey Coleman's man I get I hang on to Tim Couch right there at an absolute that's a just a very pretty card these absolutes were gorgeous 2003 we have a Lee Suggs uh, rookie debut that's cool I had high hopes for Lee Suggs man he looked looked really good there for a little bit uh, thank you so much Victor that's pretty cool uh, Andre Davis another great looking absolute product there and uh, William Green we have this um, who is this Lou Groza Cleveland Brown, I'm not sure what, what um, this is out of tops, but I'm not completely certain of the uh, insert set here, but obviously a throwback to some of the older school players, good looking chromed out card, uh, Danny Shelton rookie card, very cool man, I actually have a PC of Danny Shelton, uh, and I don't think I have that rookie card either, so that's awesome, and here's another Danny Shelton out of, uh, this is Topps Paper, uh, very cool, Nate Orchard, very cool. Nate's rookie card. And we have uh, Josh Cribbs at a 2010 certified. Good looking card. Very nice. Absolutely love Josh Cribbs. And I don't have a lot of his stuff either, so it's nice to get some stuff in from for Josh. Um, we have Emmanuel Ogba rookie here at a Panini football. Very cool. Camerian Wembley right there at an upper deck. We have a... Uh, Eric right there at our upper deck, very nice. Uh, just a wow, just a beautiful looking Tim Tim Couch skylines. I don't know if the camera's even going to do that enough justice. That's just a, a sweet card. Uh, Vic, Victor just gets some sweet cards in those lots he buys, man. He always amazes me when he goes through those lots. Tim Couch out of Tops Chrome right there, good looking Tim Couch. Tim Couch upper deck, sweet spot, nice looking card. And we got a Tim Couch out of Certified materials right there, too. It looks like maybe 2003-ish. It's a good-looking card. Uh, and a, just a sweet Rashad Higgins uh, foil rookie out of Panini Football. Huh, very cool on that. And I like that a lot. I got a nice little uh, run of uh, Higgins rookie cards, but I definitely don't have that one, Victor. That was cool. And looks like we're, at least on face value here, we got some baseball which is awesome, Rajay Davis right there, a Brandon Geyer, 2017 tops, very cool, 2016 tops, Jose Ramirez, that's cool, I don't think I have that Ramirez either, uh, Ronnie uh, Rodriguez, not familiar with this cat, very cool though, it looks like a Bowman uh, prospect card, and it is, huh, cool, a Dorisis Polino, hope I'm saying that right, Another uh, prospect card. 
Bowman paper, very cool. Uh, Tyler Naquin, that's cool. And is that a prospect card too? It's got to be, huh? That's cool. Tyler Naquin, 2017 tops. A Edwin and Carcion tops. So these are like the Heritage or whatever, or Archives, one of the two. But uh, either way, man, I love these green backed, old school looking back cards. Uh, gorgeous card right there. I have Francisco Lindor's of, of this style, so that's really cool. Uh, Corey Kluber, All Star Game, 2016 tops. That's nice. Just this sweet looking refractor, uh, Jason Kipnis, right there. Huh, out of 2016. Did not, I, I didn't buy a single pack of cards, in, baseball card wise, 2016. So that's really cool, man. That's a that is just a good looking card too, huh? Very cool on that. Wow, sweet! Can't wait to get that in the Indians box right there. Car Carlos Santana, 2017 tops. Uh, Carlos Santana tops. Old school looking back deal here. I don't know if this is some sort of archives or whatnot, but I just, I love the idea of them doing this, man. I love how that, that back just reminds me of how cards look like when I was in school. We have a Ubaldo Jimenez. Not familiar with this cat at all. Looks like a, possibly like a second year, third year card for that fella. Oh, dude, sweet, and a Francisco Lindor Stadium Club rookie. Do not have the, uh, his Stadium Club rookie yet, and now I do. Man, that's that's going right there because that's just kicked butt. And uh, this Omar Vizquel just looks awesome. Look at this Omar Vizquel. Completely unfamiliar with this product. Invincible. Huh. I don't know if it's a... If it's a tops or what the heck this thing is, but it's it's really cool. It's like see through there, like kind of an acetate deal going on with clouds in that acetate. If you can see like the white area there, and it's, you got two bats running up there with like a brick wall. This thing's cool. That's a cool card. Never seen these before, and that's like embossed. So like that, uh, the acetate part is like in mashed in between these two pieces, like stuffed in there. That's just a really cool card, man. Never even seen those before. And then we have this uh, Edwin and Carcion Tops Chrome. That's nice. A Michael Brantley Refractor. Very cool on that. Huh, sweet. And a Tyler Naquin Future Stars out of Tops Chrome. Absolutely love these. Good looking card right there. That's very cool, man. Thank you so much. This is just, these are some killer cards, man. And um, we've got this absolutely beautiful. Uh, not familiar with the player, Russell Brinian. I'm probably tearing that name up, but, uh, you know, see-through right there, kind of an... Oh, it's those uh, EX. Yeah, I've got a few basketball like this, but no baseball. Huh. Man, what a beautiful card. And then we have this uh, Mark Witten. I remember Mark. Very cool. Uh, Enrique Wilson out of Aurora. That's a cool card. And then this just a beautiful. What is this? This is a gorgeous card. And I don't know what it is. It's a Fleer. Huh. Man, that is a, that is just a sure. Let's take it out of the penny sleeve. We can look at that thing, man. Wow, that's a that is a pretty card, Roberto Alomar. Really like that. That's neat. Just give me a second here. I'm trying to make sure I don't hurt anything. All right, just a wild looking naggy here of him kind of if you if I were able to catch this right, obviously he's throwing the ball in that. So uh huh. it looks like a 94 whatever this is. Sport flicks. Oh, okay. Huh, very cool. Never had the baseball sport flicks. Used to have a, a bunch of the football sport flicks. Charles Nagy again there, 91 tops, it looks like. Um, Willie Up, Upshaw. Is this a 92, 93? Oh, oh, I'm way off base. It's an 89 upper deck. Just an iconic set of cards right there, the 89 upper deck. Get that Griffey out of there. That's the best Griffey rookie you're going to get. Same with uh, 
Randy Johnson, Gary Sheffield, and a few other players. Uh, Cliff Lee right there. Very cool. A Richie Sexton. Sexton. Fleer. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm unfamiliar with this brand, but uh, I'll tell you what. That is a gorgeous looking card, too. Man, I need to buy more lots. Look at the stuff he gets out of these lots. And I got a feeling he gets those lots pretty cheap, too. He's able to keep a ton of cards for himself and then give a bunch of stuff out. Uh, Jim Tomei right there. Very cool. I always like getting Jim Tomei cards. Cy Young. A little bit of throwback action there. And this Omega Enrique Wilson. It's a good looking card. We have a Enrique Wilson here again at a Fleer Ultra. Uh, we have some... Jeez, uh, what year is this? 89 tops, I'm pretty sure. Julio Franco, Brett Butler, we have uh, Joe Carter there, Joe Carter, Joe Carter, I wonder what year this is, huh? it's an 87 Fleer, huh, interesting, I've never seen those before, and then we have this, uh, is that Kenny Lofton, sure looks like Kenny, yeah, Kenny Lofton, at a leaf, 95 leaf. Cool looking card. Uh, Doug Jones. Albert Bell out of top, uh, top Stadium Club right there. Very cool. Uh, Albert Bell again. Out of Fleer, 95 Fleer. It's got to be some sort of insert, I'm, I'm assuming. Maybe not, maybe not. Huh, good looking card though. Looks like an insert. Uh, Bazooka. <laughs> Albert Bell, that's cool. Uh, Juan Gonzalez. Juan Gonzalez again. Very cool. At a, uh, rookies and Stars. We have this uh, really cool looking uh, Juan Gonzalez here out of, what is this? I can't I can't hardly see. F it looks like Fleer Tradition or something like that. Huh. So unfamiliar with some of this baseball product. You guys <laughs> have to forgive me here. Uh, Juan Gonzalez tops. We have this not I highly doubt he gave five bucks for this thing. It's a checklist. Uh, it's got Corey Snyder on it. And a Chad Ogan right there. Out of Bowman's Best. Good looking cards there. There's Bowman Best. Paul Sorrento. Bowman. And a... It just has uh, Albert Bell and Pat Lechek on it. Some sort of scratch-off type game of sorts here. Huh, interesting. Albert Bell. So we got a couple more of these packs. <clears throat> Looks like we're back at the football here again. Uh, Isaiah Crowell, 2015 tops. Very cool. Terrence West, um, 2014, I think, rookie card here. Yep, tops. And then we got a Terrence West uh, rookie at a prism. That's a good-looking card. Uh, Derek Anderson, absolutely like love Derek Anderson, man. He had a huge arm. He looked good in spots, too, in Carolina. Um, Terrence West, again here, 2015. Bowman, Dunross, my bad. Uh, Benjamin Watson. We've got a Travis Benjamin rookie there, very cool. A Travis Benjamin rookie again at Rookies and Stars. That's cool. That thing's like a mirror. Brady Quinn, 2008 score. Jerome Harrison out of Unrivaled. Tops Unrivaled. Very unfamiliar with this product. Must be one of those years where I didn't buy as much stuff. Um, Jerome Harrison there. We've got just a gorgeous looking Michael uh, Jackson. I remember him. Uh, Tops Finest. Huh. These were cool cards back in the day, man. And a Ozzie Newsom out of 1990 Pro Set. Yep, 1990 Pro Set. I'm not sure if I have that one either, so that's cool. Um, Jamal Lewis, Certified Materials. Joe Jaravicious, who I liked a lot. We got him at the tail end of his career. And this appears to be Bernie Kozar's um, wife out of Pro Set Pro Line Portraits, I think they were called. Yeah, that's uh, Kozar's old lady right there. Very attractive. And Bernie Kozar himself there at an upper deck. And a Pepper Johnson at an upper deck. Very cool. Huh. Some really cool stuff here, Victor, man. I greatly appreciate this. 
And some of this uh, older brown stuff, actually, I do not have either. I definitely don't have this Kevin Mack out of 92 Fleer Ultra. And these 92 Fleer Ultras were good-looking cards when they came out. Um, Stephen Bragg's right there. Who is this fella? Kellen Winslow. Uh, looks like a 2007 Bowman Chrome. Yes. I bought a bunch of those in 2007. Those are good-looking cards. They still are. Kellen Winslow right there out of Stadium Club. We've got a Matt Stover, the kicker right there, out of Tops. Just a gorgeous Brett Favre, man. Refractor-looking prism, or however you want to say it, depending on who made it. Decade of Dominance insert. Huh, very cool. That's going right in the Brett Favre PC box right there. I have a whole box dedicated to nothing but Brett Favre. Dan Marino gets his own box, too, so very cool on the Dan Marino dude. Dan Marino and Steve DeBerg in 91 Upper Deck here. Yep, very cool. Dan Marino, 90, 1994 Fleer uh, Metal U Universe, U-verse or something there. What's it? Universe, my bad. This is a gorgeous card. I do not have this. Dan Marino card, and dude, I greatly appreciate this. Wow. Huh. Very cool right there. That's nice. I like that. Let me set that up there so I don't hurt it because I pulled it out of the penny sleeve. And, oh, this next card looks sharp as heck, too. Manny Ramirez. Huh. Check this thing out. 93 Fleer Ultra. Wow. Never even seen one of these. That's cool. Man, they had to bring back this design. That That's sharp. Huh. Man, thanks a lot, dude. That's 7 of number 12. So there were 12 players in the set, and uh, Manny was number 7. Huh, so very cool, man. That That is just... I don't. I highly doubt this camera does that the right justice. This is a cool-looking card right here. Now, where was I? <laughs> I'm getting thrown off by some of these, man. These are gorgeous. Um... A Manny Ramirez rookie I just don't have. Huh, that's cool. Dun, I think it says Dunrush Triple Play at the bottom there. I've got glasses on and I still can't see anything. Um, we've got an Omar Vizquel here, uh, uh, Upper Deck MVP. Good looking card. I don't have that Omar. I got a nice little run of Omar cards. I don't have that one. I don't have this one either. Award winner, top glove, Omar Vizquel at a Fleer Ultra. That's a pretty card. Uh, Fleer Omar Vizquel with the facsimile auto at the bottom. Never even seen this Omar. So that's cool. I know I don't have that. Huh. Interesting. Uh, Jose Mesa, who was just an amazing, amazing pitcher when I first started watching, really liking baseball with uh, this team right here. Uh, Jose Mesa was awesome. Paul Sorrento, another one from that club. And we have a Jeremy Guthrie. The rookies, I'm not familiar with this guy. I bet you Snods could tell me something about this dude, but I, this is going to be uh, one of them dudes I'm just unfamiliar with there. 2001, 2002 actually, Dunruss. Uh, Grady Sizemore at a Fleer. And we have this uh, Travis Hefner at an upper deck. Good-looking card. Uh, Greg Swindell at a Dunruss. Sandy Alomar right there, Fleer Ultra, cool looking card. Absolutely love this Manny Ramirez. It's like he's holding on to a tornado instead of a bat. Huh. Don't have that, do now. That's really cool. Man, Victor. Just some cool some cool cool Cleveland cards here. Omar Vizquel here out of uh Top's Finest. Is it still got and it's still got the protective uh plastic peel off on it that you should never take off of there if you're if you're going to collect cards and you want to retain their value um very cool card right there braylon edwards out of uh score select that's really cool 2007 i didn't buy any score select in 2007 that's cool so it looks just like the regular score and it's all chromed out and then we have a uh jordan cameron Pink Refractor had a select here. That's sweet. Numbered to 199. Wow, that's cool. Jake Dillholm, he was on our team for just a little bit there. As were so many washed up players toward the end of their career. Uh, <laughs> um, who is this? Kevin Johnson. That's a thicky too, man. 
certified materials. Just a gorgeous card. And we got this Mark Carrier upper deck. Looks like a 95, 96 ish. 95. And we have this 91 Pro Set Platinum of Mike Johnson. We have a Trent Richardson here. One of those throwback uh, anniversary Topps Chrome cards. I'm not completely certain what year that's supposed to be, but uh, it's designed after an older card. We got a Muhammad Masakwai here out of Crown Roy L. Uh, Muhammad Masakwai out of Certified. It's just a sweet looking TJ Ward. And uh, Denver just released him too. Maybe we should pick him back up. This is numbered out of only 25. Very cool on that, Victor. Huh. Cool. I love TJ Ward. Was very upset when we let him walk. That's a nice card. Be holding on to that for sure. Duke Johnson rookie card out of um, rook, uh, Rookies and Stars. Absolutely love getting me some Duke Johnson rookies. Chris Spielman. That's that's cool. He, he was on the Browns just at the tail end of his career. He was an Ohio State boy, though. And we got a... Uh, View Bell, not familiar with this dude, 2008 Topps Chrome, I think so, let me check to make sure, yep, 2008, Martin Rucker, 2008 Topps Chrome, tight end we drafted that didn't quite work out, Connor Shaw at a Topps Valor rookie card right there, um, and we have this, it doesn't have his name on it, so I can't tell you, um, Albert Bell, huh, that does not look like Albert, out of upper deck there. And we have this very cool Albert Bell out of Leaf. Never even seen this one before. That's cool. Greatly appreciate that. Uh, and then we got Roberto and Sandy Alomar in an upper deck here, side by side. Very cool. Super siblings. Oh, again, same same pairing. Okay, uh, Roberto and Sandy. Huh, cool. 92 Fleer. And then we have this Tom Candiotti um, Fleer. That's a sticker. The only reason I know that is it says it on it. Um, because I'd, I'm not very familiar, once again, with some of this, some of the older baseball. Um, Andre Davis out of uh, Topps Chrome. And that's, a, that's just a thicky right there, too. Huh. Very cool. Well, thank you so much, Victor. Man, that's unbelievably nice of you. Um, did not have to do that, but I greatly appreciate your doing it. What's nice about Victor sending you something is you know he sent it just because he wanted to send you some stuff. No other reason other than that. Um, let's see what he uh, put in here for me. A very cool Indians hologram sticker, man. That's that's sweet. Huh. Very cool. I keep all my Indian stickers. I actually put these in top loaders anytime one of you guys send me like an Indian stickers from some of these vintage packs and it goes right in the Indians box and I don't have that one yet. And so that's really, oh, look at that. Clevenger's autograph, dude. Very cool. I was actually, man, you just saved me. Uh, I'm going down the line here trying to get all the main contributing Indians uh, autographs from this year and uh, I didn't have Clevenger yet and I was about to start looking at one of these. And this is a uh, 100, top 100 prospect uh, auto too, which I think makes it a little bit cooler. Um, very dude, man, you just did me a saw. And this is numbered 49 out of 199 too. Huh? Wow. Dang, Victor, that's cool, man. You just, dude, you you really hooked me up here, man, with some absolutely killer cards, dude. I just greatly appreciate this. Um, and another sticker for the for the Cleveland Browns, or Cleveland Indians. Uh, sticker collection right there so very cool on that so thank you so much victor unbelievably nice of you i'm going to put his link below but i'm sure i highly doubt anybody's watching my channel doesn't know who victor negron is because he's just one of the most incredibly nicest guys you're going to meet on here uh you just watch what a couple minutes of one video and you know instantly you're dealing with just a great guy there with his demeanor and everything but so thank you so much victor thank you guys for watching sorry this was a bit lengthy but what are you going to do when somebody sends you this amount of absolutely awesome cards you know i wanted to show every one of them uh victor thank you so much and i'll see the rest of you on the other side of the glass